Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Richard. My channel is all about menswear lifestyle and also product reviews. Uh, the aim of my channel is to help you look and feel your best. If you like what I'm doing, then please leave a comment below. I always appreciate interacting with you and subscribe. And also hit that notification button to the bottom right hand side of this video so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Today's video is five spring essentials in my honest opinion that I think every man should have in their wardrobe. All that coming up after the break. As you know, spring is almost here. The evening's getting lighter, it's starting to warm up a little bit, but it's still not warm enough that you can venture outside with just a t-shirt or a polo shirt on. You're still gonna need several layers. This video, I'm gonna give you my five spring essentials that I think that every stylish man needs in their wardrobe. As you know, guys, you can't have one wardrobe that fits all purposes. You do need to have some lighter jackets, some lighter tops, some lighter style trousers, and maybe some lighter jeans. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you five ideas for spring menswear, which I think are essential. I wear them every year. I think any guy that uh, knows what they're talking about style-wise will also own one of, if not all of these items that I'm gonna bring up in this video today. And without further ado, number one is gonna be a good pair of boat shoes. Now guys, boat shoes, in my opinion, are a bona fide classic. They look great with anything in the spring and summer, and they are one of my go-to favorite shoes along with Converse. They are absolutely versatile. You can wear them as shorts, you can wear them as slim fit chinos in khaki or any color really, but I prefer wearing them with khaki or pastel shades in the spring and summer or slim fit jeans. Wear them sockless, I think it gives them more authentic look. They look awesome and especially if you're into the preppy vibe, which I am in the summer, you really can't go wrong with a pair of, uh, of deck shoes. Now, they're called deck shoes or boat shoes, whichever you prefer, but they basically mean the same thing. Some of the best manufacturers of these types of shoes, in my honest opinion, again, um, are Polo Ralph Lauren and also Sperry. They do some really, really great um, deck or boat shoes. Uh, they're made in leather or canvas. Now, if you can afford to go for leather, I would definitely urge you to go for leather, guys, because they last longer, clearly. Um, I've got a pair of each. I've got a pair of navy blue uh, canvas ones, which are great. Uh, I think I bought them from J. Crew. actually. They do another um, a, a great line in them in the summer. Um, but other brands obviously do them as well. Um, but I've got a pair of um, brown leather ones, which I wear almost constantly in the summer when I'm not wearing my Converse. Um, you have to wear them sock the sky for that authentic preppy look. Uh, and, and in fact, who really wears socks in the summer? I know I don't. Um, your feet are hot enough already in the shoe without sticking a sock in them. Um, but essentially, they look absolutely awesome, guys. You don't really need to do much with them. Just stick them on. Uh, they're easy to keep clean, and they really are a bona fide classic. So if you don't have a pair in your uh, wardrobe, then go and get yourself a pair. I promise you, you won't regret it. Leading me on to the next one, number two, which is a decent Harrington jacket. Now I've talked about the Harrington jacket before, so I'm not gonna to go too much into detail, but you all know if you watch my channel how much I love this jacket. It's amazingly versatile, it fits great. Um, most of them are slim fitting, which obviously they need to be. I keep going on about fit, but really it does boil down to that. Anything too baggy, you're just not gonna look your best, and that's what this channel is all about, helping you feel. So the Harrington jacket, there's lots of different brands out there that make them, and they make them well. But I would always go for the go-to brand Barracuda, which are a UK-based brand. I've mentioned them here before. I think the Harrington jackets, which are the original, uh, which is why they're the best, really, really set you apart from other guys out there on the street. Um, everything from their design, their construction, how well they're made, but the lovely Fraser uh, Titan lining inside just sets you apart from the, uh, from the style pack. So in my opinion, you can't go wrong with a Harrington jacket from Barracuda, um, known as the Barracuda jacket, funnily enough. Um, in the summer or spring and summer months. Alongside that, I would say a close second would come a uh, Levi's denim trucker jacket. I've spoken to you about those many times before, so I'm not gonna go into that now either. But those two are your favorite two go-to spring options for jackets. And you do need it because we all know, yes, the sun's out, but it's slightly too chilly to be walking around a t-shirt, as I said at the opening of this video. So stick on a, a Harrington jacket or a, a denim tr a trucker jacket and you're covered, aren't you, really? Um, they're easy to keep. They last for years. Um, you can take them off, stuff them in a bag, and they're still going to look great when you take them back out again when the temperature di dips slightly. So that's my um, second tip is a Harrington jacket. Um, again, colours this season, guys, you're going to see lots of different green colours. I would say if you're paler skin, 
stay away from the lighter shades of pistachio greens, uh, the light greens, the lime greens, and the turquoise greens. Um, personally, I like a racing green. And if you want my honest opinion, again, it is only my opinion, the best colours to go for if you're looking for a Harrington jacket, especially on the Barracuda side, I would go for their awesome racing green, which is a really, really nice classic English um, look. Uh, also, I go for a, um, a Time Warm favourite, like a black, or a khaki, um, but my favourite is definitely a racing green. I've yet to pick myself up a racing green one. I have got a forest green wax one for the uh, winter months, but obviously I won't be wearing that this uh, spring and summer. Um, but they do do um, different pastel shades every year. They release different collections. I think there's a pastel collection on the Barracuda website now, so go and check them out. Now I did say before, they're not cheap, okay, but you get what you pay for. I've always said this, you get what you pay for, save up your pennies and buy the original, not an imitation. However, if you want one now and you haven't got the amount of money to spend on a Barracuda, and I think it's about £350 to drop on one of those, then check out other brands online. Um, they're all very, very good, and they all got uh, pretty quality construction. Stay away from the ones under £50 that you see on Amazon, etc., because they're not going to be uh, very good quality at all, and you'll be buying another one within weeks. So the best thing you can do, guys, is invest in quality. I always say that on my channel. If you can, save up and buy yourself a timeless piece that's going to last you for years. So that's number two, the Harrington jacket. Number three on my list of spring essentials has got to be a thin sweater. Now, as I've said before, with it being spring, it's a funny month because it's warm, but it's still cold and it's not quite the summer. So you're going to need several layers. You might find some days are colder than others. And what you want is a thin sweater. Put a sweater over a t-shirt or over an Oxford shirt and underneath a barracuda or denim jacket and you've got a perfect spring layer um, because spring is all about light layers, guys. It's about light layers fitting you well, ones that you can just take off and put in a bag if you're not using them. The thin sweater is perfect for this. Wear it around your waist when you take it off, stick it around your neck, whatever you do. It's a very light layer to carry if you're not wearing it. It will keep you just that right level of warm um, but not too hot that you're going to be stuffy. Um, whether you go for v-neck, whether you go for crew neck, whether you go for cable knit or shawl neck collar, whatever you do, whatever your design is, whatever you think suits your face and your body shape best, make sure it's quality. A jumper is one of those things, like a jacket or like any piece of men's clothing basically, that you need to invest well in. If you don't, it's going to become dog-eared, you're going to get bits of fluff uh, and all sorts um, sticking to it. And also you're going to get that horrible pilling that you get on jumpers. The better made they are, the longer they last. And as long as you take care of them, um, as per the instructions on the jumper, it will last you for years and years and years. Um, colours I would go for, if you want my opinion, I would go for a classic navy blue and a charcoal grey. If you can't afford any more, then those are the two colours that I think you can't go wrong with. They'll literally go with anything. You can dress uh, items up and down, like with any piece of classic menswear. You can throw it into a smarter look or a more casual look, depending on whether you wear it with a t-shirt or an Oxford shirt and what jacket you wear. So really, they are very, very versatile, guys. Um, personally, I prefer a crew neck. I have got a couple of v-necks, but I wear a lot of crew neck um, jumpers, and I find they suit my face and my shape better. But you'll know what style suits you. You'll also have a favourite style, um, so just stick with that. But my two colours is definitely a navy blue and a charcoal. Again, brand-wise, Barber do some fantastic jumpers. Um, also, Polo. Uh, again, as I mentioned before, um, J. Crew, uh, Lacoste. There's so many brands out there that do really, really good jumpers. Find a brand that fits you and uh, invest in a fair few colours if you can. But that's my third spring essential item for menswear. Number four on my spring essentials is a decent polo shirt. Now, polo shirts are quite divisive. I've met a lot of guys that hate them and a lot of guys like me that love them. Um, they are a bridge between casual and smart casual. You can dress them up with chinos, you can dress them down with jeans, you can wear them with shorts. Essentially, polo shirts to me are a summer essential. Now, I know a lot of guys hate them because they bring to mind images of corporate businesses with people walking around with very unshapely large um, polo shirts hanging over rather unshapely bodies and it just gives off a horrible image and vibe and I get that. And not all polo shirts are created equal. Now, I'm not a massive fan of the um, fabric that you find on most polo shirts, which is the rougher sort of cotton peak, but you can get Pima cotton, which is lovely and soft. 
you can get all sorts of different man-made fibers um, mixed with a little bit of cotton and viscose to make it a bit stretchy. You can get all sorts of different um, materials that they can be made with. I know a lot of people hate the collars that get very misshapen after a couple of washes, um, but again, you get what you pay for. It's like any item that I talk about and any other item that any other menswear uh, vlogger will talk about, you need to pay decent money to get decent quality clothes that will keep their shape, retain their color, and keep you looking better for longer. Um, but in the summer, you'll find me wearing polo shirts more often than not. Now, this was a very close run-in thing with Henley t-shirts because everyone knows how much I love Henleys. In the summer, I rock them quite a lot but I am mostly wearing polo shirts in the summer and short sleeve rugby's, which um, you can sort of lump in there with the polo shirt to try if you like. But essentially they're, they're, they're warm enough, um, but they're cool enough to uh, keep at the right temperature. You're not gonna get too hot. And if you do, you can find uh, moisture wicking ones out there as well from decent brands, um, which help uh, wick the moisture away from you when you start to sweat, but they keep you cool as well. Um, but I just think they look really, really cool. Stay away from massive, massive logos. Um, now I've been known to go down that route myself, um, but I generally just get away with a little logo on my polo shirts, all completely plain. Um, one of my favourite polo shirts, which I think you guys should definitely check out, is from a British brand called Sunspell. Now if you go onto sunspell.com and type in the Riviera Polo, what you'll be presented with is uh, a collection of um, polo shirts and I bought the one in navy last year and uh, definitely didn't regret it. It's the one made specifically for Daniel Craig's physique um, for the uh, Bond film Casino Royale um, and it's still called the Riviera Polo uh, and it's a really really great fitting, very light and a very sort of it's not like a polo peak like you find on most of the um, polo shirts from brands like Ralph Lauren, who I do own quite a few of his polo shirts in a massive array of colours. Um, but essentially, it's a, it's a lighter, thinner material. I can't really describe it, but it is an amazing polo shirt. Again, on the pricey side, it's like anything you pay for, you're going to pay a bit more for it. But I've had that a, a year. I wore it pretty much the entire summer last year, and it still looks amazing. I love it, and I've washed it multiple times. So you get what you pay for. Um, Colour-wise, think about your skin tone. Now, I'm quite a light skin chap. I um, don't ever suntan, unfortunately, so I'm very pale most of the year. So I try to stay away from pastel shades if I can. White, um, I stick with whites, navies, blacks, um, dark greens, light greens, things like that. But anything sort of pastel shade, I stay away because I tend to look washed out. Um, but you'll know what style suits you. You'll know whether you like polo shirts or not. And like anything, this is just my honest opinion. I love them. Um, and I'm pretty much in them um, nine times out of 10 in the summer months. So that's my fourth spring essential. Number five on my spring essentials list is more of an accessory, but I really do think that no man's stylish wardrobe in the spring or summer can be without one of these or multiple. Um, is the D-ring or O-ring belt. Now those of you that don't know what a D-ring or an O-ring belt is, it's essentially a nylon belt. It can be made out of rope, uh, of which I think they're really, really classy, a very nice nautical vibe. Most of them are made of gross grain um, nylon and cotton uh, mix, and essentially they're one piece, uh, and they're fastened by two D-ring um, metal loops, um, shaped like a D, hence the name D-ring, and O-ring metal loops, you guessed it, uh, shaped like an O, and essentially you thread it through your belt, one part of the nylon goes through one of the loops, you bring it back on itself, uh, and then back through the other loop, and that secures it. Um, now, I've obviously showed you a picture before I bought this up, so you know what they look like. Uh, I haven't got any here to show you because uh, I can't get to them. My room is an absolute tip at the minute, and I'm trying to organize all of my clothes so that I can showcase some of them for you in these videos. Uh, at the moment, though, that wasn't happening today, so I've put a, uh, a card up in front of this section so you'll see what I mean. They come in all sorts of different colors, uh, and this is what I love about them. Now, in the autumn, winter months, we're all wearing leather belts, uh, very plain, very rugged, uh, and not really showcasing a lot about our personalities. In the summer, it's all about white, it's all about um, light colors. I wear a lot of light color chinos or white jeans, uh, white polo shirts, um, and essentially, it's very bland, but very smart, don't get me wrong, guys, but you want to add a little bit of um, color and a little bit of um, your personality into your outfit, then go for a cross crane or D-ring, O-ring belt. Um, they really do jazz up any outfit, and they're a real talking point because um, a lot a lot of people will have them on. Um, now I've got quite a few and I've been wearing them for about 10 years, but it still surprises me how little 
I see them out on the streets and I think they're really great they set you apart from uh, the style pack like I said it's all about individuality and making yourself stand out and making yourself feel confident and setting yourself apart from everyone else uh, and I really do think these belts are the way to do it they inject a bit of color a bit of enthusiasm a bit of get up and go in your outfit and they really do top and tail it off a pair of white jeans uh, say a navy uh, polo shirt or t-shirt or Henley with a gross grain belt in say a navy and yellow stripe um, or a sort of preppy inspired heritage crest design um, they're very very nice and just add that preppy aesthetic to your outfit which I love um, I'm all about the preppy aesthetic um, and I love preppy items and pretty much that's how I dress most of the uh, most of the summer um, so yeah guys that was my fifth um, style essential um, I really do think you should pick yourself up quite a few of these um, there's loads of manufacturers out there that uh, that sell these um, d-ring belts but again, Polo, J. Crew, Lacoste, any of the preppy brands that you can think of, they will sell these in the summer months. So try and grab yourself a couple, see what you think. Um, but they're my five um, spring essentials. I honestly love these items. That's why I bought them up. And it's quite hard to choose sometimes when you think there's so many items out there of essential menswear that I think that we should all be wearing in the spring summer months. And it's quite difficult to whittle it down to five. But if I had to, they would be my five favourites. What are you guys going to be wearing this spring? What are your favourite colours and what do you think suits you? Do you prefer polo shirts or do you prefer Henleys? Leave your comments down in the comment section below. I really do enjoy reading them and hopefully you've enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you have, smash that subscribe button. And Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you like what I've done, then please head over to my Instagram, Facebook and Tumblr pages and like and follow me uh, to see what I get up to. And I really appreciate your support on my channel and everything else I do. Please come back and see me next time. New video on Thursday. Thank you very much. Take care, guys, and stay awesome.